Huron when she was 19 years old. My grandmother was 49 when she left Tehran, Iran. My father left Tehran, Iran when he was 16 years old. We celebrated holidays in Iran just like America. We used to gather with friends and family. We used to go to temple and we used to have a good time. Every Friday night, we said the bracha, the we lighted the candle exactly like here, right here. You see here? Mm -hmm. Exactly like here. I moved to America in 1979, and the reason I moved was the Islamic Revolution in Iran, which, uh, which was a terrible thing that happened to, to that country, and it wasn't good for Jewish people. Because I had two sons here. First. And unfortunately, because of revolution in Iran, in Iran, we came over here the first month of the revolution. But uh, in before of that, every year I came over here for two months, three months, because my two, two boys was here. Only my youngest one was with me. We left Iran. Uh, I came to Los Angeles. Because Los Angeles had a very, very opportunity for my kids. So much opportunity for my kids. And because of weather, because of weather is very nice. It is always here, it's like a spring. United States in 1974, I was accepted in Fairleigh Dickinson University. At 16? It was very difficult because I left my parents too and I went to New York to my grandma and my brother was already there so it was really really difficult to change the country and start all over again and get used to the to the environment. I was very sad, sad until two years uh, and three years because, uh, because uh, I had the I had uh, my remembering, remembering in my house, mm -hmm. even even my bedroom, every place, every place. Yeah, until two years, I was very upset. I was very missed uh, my parents, my sister, my um, brother-in-law. Everybody was over there. That is why I, I had very sad day until two years, and uh, eventually I got used to it. What was different about the Jamaican army? She bet hard, Masalan. Go the weather. You get you no money, no, 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 nothing better. Nothing Every, better. Everything, everything is better in Iran because. But then shop was over there, mm -hmm. not mola, uh -huh. not mola. People, job. Fortunately, uh, I, 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 I know, I knew English a little bit. I didn't go any class. I didn't go any place. Uh, because I knew a little bit. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, uh, education-wise. I can't really answer this question in a smart way only because I was 16 years old when I left Europe. So I was only a teenager. So I'm not sure. I, from the news I hear, from what I hear in the news that children or teenagers in Iran don't have as much freedom as they do have here and the education system over there is not as as broad and it's as extended as it is here.
I love Israel so much. But first, I love America and second, Israel. I don't know why. You don't know why? I don't know why. But, 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 I always pray for Israel. Shut up. Uh, why? Because this is uh, this is uh, my second country. This is uh, the Jewish people. They live over there. And then I, because my husband has a stroke in Israel, that is why I am very sad. Every time, every time I say Israel. Our connection to Israel is someday. Of course, I miss in Iran too. I miss in Iran, especially for my brother. I have one brother, his doctor. Still there? Yeah, still there. He doesn't have family. I remember my house, especially my house. Uh, but uh, but the mullah confiscated my house. Uh, yeah, confiscated my house. I miss my house. I get, if you could go back, Babacha Hall to my grandchildren, uh -huh. Midi, Iran. Iran, Iran, Midi. Yes, I go. I I get back to Iran only for visit, not to stay over there because I don't like mullah. <laughs> if I I get have a mullahi. What's the first thing you show us? Of course. What's the if first thing? Everybody is gone over there. I am sure nobody is going over there <laughs> because they have here a lot of, you know, they have here everything. Everything they have here. Even if they don't go over there. But for this, yes. I like it to go over there for two weeks only. Okay, I get more than. If we went two weeks, uh -huh. what's the first thing you would show your grandchildren? Sorry about that, my voice is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, I don't miss anything. Why not? I have an uncle I miss in Iran. Okay, what do you think of Iran today? She's a. I cannot say anything about today because today we uh, we have one stupid. Uh, a stupid uh, president mm -hmm. like Ahmadinejad, when all the mullah, I hate Iran from there. That is why I never think about Iran now. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe after changes, changes. Mm -hmm. All the mullah, how they die. <laughs> <laughs> don't know who I would be without Persian customs and traditions. Yeah, seriously, if I didn't have Shabbat once a week, my week would be just ruined. Yeah, I've noticed our culture is so rich and so exciting, and I think I would be so dull and boring without those things. Hello, this is my mother Yvette making Shabbat dinner. As you can see, she is making rice, she is making chorach, Horesh, which is stew. Shabbat shalom, hey! Shabbat shalom, hey! Shabbat is one of her favorite holidays. And she... Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat And tonight we're having family members come over. Thank you. My daddy. My daddy. Toya, you love your daddy? Hi, Toya. Say bye. Hi. Who's that? Say bye. Who's, who's? That's Shannon. Who's that? Toya, say, I love my daddy. I love my daddy. Say, my daddy came from Iran. My daddy came from Iran. No, from Iran. Huh? From Iran. Huh? From Iran. Huh? From Iran. Huh? 